So when students bring up this screen, uh, WebCT doesn't have a plugin infrastructure. And so in order for the system to work, uh, I had to create a separate login screen that students would use their UCID to uh, log in with. Logging in brings up the welcome screen, which has a description of each of the menu items which are across the top of the screen. And students go from left to right, uh, from welcome to uh, monitor to complete the assignment. In the learn screen, there is an online video which shows the oral report instructions. And I'm just going to quickly fast forward through that video now. Um, this oral report itself, or the instructions themselves are recorded in the same way that students will record their oral reports. So I talk to them about what good PowerPoint slides are, what makes a good presentation, and then I go through, I show them the recording settings, I show them uh, how to step-by-step -step go through and record an online presentation with uh, Camtasia Studio, talk about the production settings that are necessary to be set, uh, how to install the mp3 codec which is necessary for compressing the audio and then finally walk them through how to produce um, a flash movie. I had a high high degree of success with students being able to do these videos and no problems. And then once they've created their flash video of their OR report they upload it with this upload form and then they go to watch and if they click watch then they get to see um, all of their classmates or reports you can see the names down the side and you can scroll down uh, and just clicking on one of the students names in the left hand column will bring up their report in the right hand side so if we click on Dan Tomesco's report then we could then click play and listen to his report which is about uh, four and a half almost five minutes long Altogether, the students' reports, uh, there were about 30 students per, per section, and so to listen to every student's report took um, two to three hours. In the next phase, each student will assess every other student's report. They get a list of their students. If the student has not yet been uh, evaluated, then there's a, their name is a link. Otherwise, there's a check in the done column. So we just, let's say, for example, we just watched uh, Dan Tomesco's report. Let's go down. Uh, find his name in the list and click on the link to show bring up the uh, assessment form. The assessment form, the instructions it says your grade, uh, you must grade honestly and fairly. In other words, unless it happens that every single person in the class gives a first rate presentation, I would not expect to see full points awarded from every grader to each student in the class. Grade inflation makes you slack and lazy. Uh, the students took this to heart, and if you look at the report form, then they have five uh, semantic differential rating scales um, from low to high quality on interest level, preparedness, organization, slide quality, and style. Uh, if the students don't fill out the entire form and they click submit, they get an error message um, that says, please rate this person's presentation organization, and they have to go back uh, and finish the form. Uh, in addition to that, they are supposed to give uh, narrative feedback, um, quali qualitative feedback on the things that they liked and the things that they thought could improve in the presentation. Uh, now <clears throat> I have to say that the students were very good. Some of them um, wrote really great comments uh, to their to their peers, to their classmates. Uh, most of them did actually. So a few of them didn't participate and we have a way of figuring out who those people are uh, which I'll show you in a moment. But this is the this is the assessment form that the students fill out. You can see it takes a very short amount of time and so in terms of watching and assessing all of your classmates videos uh, it took about three to four hours. And so you can see after you fill it out then you get a check by Dan's name and we'll go on to the monitor screen. Now in the monitor screen for the students, students are able to see the average scores that they've given and received. They're also able to see the comments that their classmates wrote about them, uh, but anonymously. They're not able to see the names associated with the comments that they got from their classmates. Um, but as the instructor, I get the, uh, a lot more information. You can see I get uh, the names of each student down the left-hand side. I can see exactly when each student uploaded 
his or her report down to the second. Uh, that way I can assess uh, late penalties. And then I can see how many assessments uh, classmate of their classmates' reports have been completed by each student. Now there are the 35 corresponds to the number of students in the class, uh, including the student who is doing the assessing and myself. So there's never a, a case when a student will actually have 35 of 35. In this case, 33 was the highest number. But you can you know you can quickly go down the list and see students who have um, assessed fewer than all of their classmates. And again, the grading scheme for this is uh, I don't grade students on the quality of their report per se. I actually grade them on <coughs> how many of their classmates reports that they assess. So now if we look at the scores received by the students, you can see the average scores uh, received for interest, preparation, flow, uh, the slides, the quality of the slides, the style of the speaking, um, and then in the uh, right-hand columns, you can see uh, the average number of characters here for positive and negative feedback. Um, and looking at this, you can see that you know, not everybody received fours. There is a good range of you know uh, quality, and I had and you know so students weren't just unqualified, unqualifiedly. Uh, positive about their classmates contributions. But if you look here that's the number of characters in the positive and negative com comments, the average number of characters. And now we'll take a look at the scores given by st each student and as you can see uh, over to the right hand side you can see the average scores given by each student. Now looking at them you can eyeball them and see um, that most people probably took this seriously. Um, but in this one case, we have a student whose aver the average length of the comments he wrote were five characters and eight characters. So let's click on his name and take a look at the feedback that he actually gave to his classmates. Now first you can see the comments that he received from his classmates. And if you look down, um, you can see that people took this seriously. And, and if you look at some of these, uh, as we scroll down, they're quite uh, long. Students took, a, you know, took this seriously and put a lot of time into evaluating them. Um, on the other hand, if you look at the comments that he wrote, the comments given to his classmates, he wrote almost nothing. And that was you know, directly against the instructions that were given for this assignment. And therefore, he was marked down uh, considerably and didn't receive credit for grading his classmates' work. And that's it. And then students would, you know, finally students can log out from the system and the work is complete.